Barclays head of U.S. equities, Vinu Krishna, joins us this morning to talk about the Fed presser yesterday. Vinu, and this uh, pretty violent rotation we've gotten not just this week, but for most of 2023 so far. Is it too much? Yeah, we think so. I think the market has been hanging on to what we broadly term as a hope trade for a while now, uh, clinging for any reason to, to sort of rally. And I think uh, we are in a situation where even though fundamentally at a macro level or at an equity sort of earnings level, things are quite unclear as yet, uh, the market is choosing to ignore uh, and, and go ahead. So big picture, our view is that I think equities right now are mispricing uh, growth risks quite significantly. Um, growth risks that stem from what? Uh, earnings uh, slowing or CapEx uh, undercutting activity in the, in the quarters to come? What do you think, where do you think weakness comes from? I think the weakness comes from earnings, which is obviously linked broadly to economic growth. To give you a perspective, in each of the scenarios we have considered, a bull case, a bear case, and a base case, uh, which is, varies between whether we have a soft landing or a shallow recession or a normal recession, we see earnings declining in every scenario. Uh, and so that is a problem. Uh, and I think uh, that is not being captured into, uh, into the reality of how stocks are behaving right now. The second issue is just multiples, right? We are right now in a higher inflationary environment while we are in the right trend towards inflation coming down. But if you were to take today's levels of uh, inflation rates and growth as we see it, uh, you know, we think, for example, the fair value for uh, the P multiple for S&P should be around 15, 15 and a half times. So the market is already trading at over 18. And if you were to use our uh, more base case earnings estimate, it's closer to 20. So I think there's a little bit of a disconnect, uh, certainly on the earnings front, which we continue to think um, will be weaker, just as we have seen this 40% of S&P already having um, reported, and numbers are not that great. They are, they are lackluster at best. Right. So then two questions to finish. One is, does the market's habit recently of rewarding stocks in the wake of an earnings miss, does that trend come to an end? Um, and uh, I'll, let's just do that one since we're limited on time. Yeah. No, I, I think, like I said, I, it's all linked to the hope one. So the hope in these recoveries, the beta rallies or the short squeezes, wh whatever way you want to term them, is that the worst is over. And I think that is a problem because the worst is not over yet, certainly on the earnings front. So we have a lot more way to go before we get more clarity and that bottom is hit and there is more visibility. I think until such time, uh, you know, you cannot ignore that risk and move on.